Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a cash envelope stuffing. Today I'm going to be stuffing my second paycheck for my first job. The total amount is going to be $700. Um, and it's mainly going to cover my cash envelopes and my expenses. So I'm going to count this cash and I'm going to jump right into the video. So let's count this cash. I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. I'll just deal with those bills later. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 9697, 9997. So $700. I'm going to organize my cash and we're going to start with my cash envelopes. So my cash is organized. I'm starting with my cash envelopes. Um, the first envelope I'm going to stuff today is gas. Gas is getting $40 and that's going to be in 220s. Oh, I just dropped my cash, honey. So $40 go in gas. And as you can see, it's early morning. I made sure this is the first thing I did because I have to go to work in the afternoon. Next is groceries. Groceries is getting $40 in s in 220s. So let me open this up. All right, so that's $40 in groceries. Next is going to be self-care. Self-care is getting $20. Right now, self-care has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. So I'm grabbing my 20. And in total, self-care has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110. So $110 in self-care. Uh, next is eating out. Eating out is getting $20. And eating out is empty as usual. And then miscellaneous is getting $20. And that's going to be in a $20 bill. My money is just all over the place today. I just don't want to sit still. But yeah, so $20 in miscellaneous. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to put my Ibotta and Fetch Rewards um, re referral codes up if you want to sign up. You basically get cash back or points for basically shopping at your regular stores like Target, Walmart, etc. I have some Walmart receipts in here that I need to scan. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing after this video. And then um, you get points in cash back if you use my refer referral code. And I will get points in cash back if you use my referral code. So, um, yeah, it's a one-one situation. So um, I don't have no coupons in here. And then this is money that just needs to go back to the bank. So that's pretty much it for my cash envelopes. And now I'm going to go into my expenses binder. So here is my expenses binder. Um, we're gonna get started with rent. All right, rent is going to be getting $250 and that's going to be in two $100 bills and 150. And rent, I already have some cash in it. It has $250. And when I add my next $250, these 20s do not wanna stay still for real, y'all. Okay, so. Right now, rent has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So $500 in rent, which is the total amount I need to spend. Next is car insurance. Car insurance is getting $150. That's going to be in one $100 bill and $150. So there you go, car insurance. 
Next is um, Chase Freedom, which is right here. Chase Freedom is getting $53, and that's going to be in one fifty and three ones. So that's 50, one, two, three. Um, renter's insurance. Renter's insurance is getting $20 today. Renter's insurance already have, I think, $40. So I'm going to add another 20 and it'll be 60 So 20 40 60 Okay. Um, Apple, I mean, not Apple. AT&T is not getting anything. Apple is going to be getting $20 today, and that's going to be in a $20 bill. Okay, next is Georgia's Own, I think. No, Georgia's Own is not getting anything. Um, and Nelnet is not getting anything, but Subscriptions is getting 10 and that's going to be in a $10 bill. So I'm gonna stick that back here. And then Rooms to Go, which is another credit card, is $40. So I'm going to put my $40 here because both of these items don't have envelopes. So I'm just going to stick that back here. So now I'm confused because there's money here and I don't know where it came from. Oh, Georgia's Own do get something. Georgia's Own get $17. I knew I wasn't crazy. It's not listed. Oh, it is listed. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place this morning. So, um, Georgia's Own is getting the last bit of money. That's over here, which is $17. So, 10, 15, 16, 17. And... Okay, so that's pretty much it for my cash envelope stuffing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put it down in the comment section. I will respond as soon as possible. Um, until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.